Actually, it's almost nice. like we're playing all random Pokemon here. Pokemon trainer, let's go. All right. Ridley. All right, dude. Ridley. It's a good night. It's a good night. So we got the Pokemon trainer versus Ridley. That's going to be Kellen and Light the Iron Man. Light the Iron Man, I believe, is a player from uh, Santa Barbara. I think it's like Central Coast. I don't know if he like moved out here. If he's like, visiting. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I believe Kellen is a... Uh, uh, Smash or uh, Smash tutorial Spain from uh, Melee. Oh, really? I think that's him. Yeah. Nice. I had no idea. That's so cool. Some hype, hype matches to, to come. But Kel uh, already taking 89% here. He's got the Ivysaur out. That's gonna be big damage. Also, uh, great capability to juggle, especially in such a big body like uh, Ridley. Dash attack coming in, and Ridley only at 66%. The Charizard coming to meet the weight class here. Actually, Ridley's like not even very like heavy. Samus is heavier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. To, doing him dirty a little bit, you know? <laughs> Uh, Kel actually goes back to the Squirtle, so you know every Pokemon trainer usually has the their strong character, and uh, Kel Kel get worked a little bit here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, going yeah. in with the Charizard, trying to get there, but it looks like he kind of favors the Ivysaur, right? He started with the Squirtle, uh, he goes right back to the Squirtle now. So most most Pokemon trainers are playing that Squirtle in low percentages yes. just because of the combo game of Squirtle, as well as uh, you know just kind of neutral as well. Yeah, very strong, it's but, really uh, easy, like you said. Um, Kellen is definitely looks like he's most comfortable with the Ivysaur, pulling him out the most. Uh, it's really like easy for a new Pokemon trainer main to really just to, like keep playing Ivysaur. Like the character is just so good all around, he's almost just so reliable. But like you have two other characters that are at your arsenal, and, and it's really like you, you should be using them, especially Squirtle, like you said, at, at those earlier percents. So much damage. With the yeah, I feel like a lot of people think Charizard is the weakest of the Pokemon, which may be true, but a lot of people also just don't use him. They're just like, yeah. nah, fuck that one. I'm, just, I'm going right back to Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, they, it's just, I think he needs a little bit more development for sure. I mean, I, I I would have to agree he's probably still the worst of the three, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have any uses. And uh, Kellen already down his last stock, and so is like the Iron Man. Oh, hello, the down smash. Light the Iron Man with the JV2 for game number one. Yeah, I mean, Kellen really looked like he learned a lot over the course of that game. Because obviously at the very start, I mean, he was getting kind of worse. Yeah, he got blown up. Actually, he, he uh, Light the Iron Man only took like 10% before he took two stocks. Yeah. So he, he was at like 60%, took that first stock, took the second stock, and he was only at 70%. It's like, whoa. Right? So he brought it down to a last stock situation. That's pretty good. And it looks like Helen's gonna go to Battlefield here. He's probably Pokemon favoring the platform trainer. just to uh, get a little bit more juggling out of the Ivysaur. Uh, and he's actually gonna start Ivysaur yeah. on this one too. So instead of starting with the Squirtle, he's gonna go straight into the Ivysaur. Yeah, so I, I expect to see maybe like majority Ivysaur throughout this set. Let's see if we can get a game number three here from Kellen if he's got the juice. Finding him a neutral area, finding a grab off of it, forcing the shield off of White the Iron Man. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a platform extension there. He got like a good down throw into Nair and then just got nothing. Inside. Ooh, the falling up air into a One second more. up air. Yes, he does. And only at 11% coming clean with this lead right now. Oh, more up airs. Looking like Steph Curry out here shooting threes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to neutral a little bit. Uh, and Kellen definitely affording himself that luxury of just sitting back a little bit more now that he's got this uh, one stock lead. He definitely got a little bit of the melee mentality a little bit going. He's like, yeah, you, you come to me now. Like, I'm going to retreat with these back airs and you figure out a way to deal with it. Yeah, back air is such a good tool in the neutral. I mean, it combos into itself. And uh, you can even cross up. And he finds the Vine Whip. Down yeah. to Taking less than 100% and already light the Iron Man on his last stock. A couple risky down smashes here. I mean, he got away with those earlier in the first game, and now Kellen's kind of picked up on the pattern. It's like, no, you don't. Not anymore. Yeah, definitely. All right. The Squirtle is out to play right now, and we're starting to see some of those high damage combos. And he goes straight for the Ivysaur. That was kind of a risky switch, but he goes for it. Light, you know, wasn't really expecting it, so there's no way to really deal with it. Yeah, definitely there are situations where the, the Pokemon Trainer or the Pokemon Switch is going to be risky. It is a frame one option, so it actually can get you a lot of, out of a lot of uh, dangerous situations as well. Yeah, it is It is like that half second of immunity. It's kind of like uh, getting like Yoshi Perry in yeah. Melee where you're like, this is really good. But you got to be really on point if you want to use it. And he actually goes for the Charizard now at high percentages. 
maybe just gonna look for like a fair blitz in neutral or something here. Oh, yeah. He gets an up smash out of shield right there, and the forward air, that's gonna do it. Kel with the two stock, answering right back for his game number two. That was, a, that was you know, that was speed running yeah. that game that too. Dominant. I mean, you know, under two minutes for the whole uh, whole game there. Yeah, I look, like the way I see it, it looked like uh, Kellen just kind of got caught off guard in game number one, and it was just like, okay, all right. You know, I haven't played too many Ridleys. He got me. But I'll, sh goes. I'll show I'll show you what I'm made of. Yeah. Deep breath. Yeah. Reset. Forget about it. Pokemon and he just gives him the hands. Dude, yeah, totally. Ridley. I like I like the back and forth we've seen so far between these two. And we got game number three, Light versus Kellen. And we're gonna be uh, going to Yoshi. Here. Oh, it's gross. Enough. <laughs> uh, this is weird. Oh, like the Ridley stage. player is kind of picking this. I, I'm not sure that I'm not sure the thought process here. I feel like. It, it doesn't really benefit Ridley that much more over Pokemon Trainer than yeah. the other stage. Yeah, I would have to agree. I mean, maybe a Light is thinking, like, the Blast Zones are so small here, and I have so much kill power that you're going to die really early. Like, right there, that forward smash. Actually getting close to killing Dash Attack is uh, starting to become a threat as well. The Charizard coming out from Kellen. Now using a little bit more weight to survive longer here. Uh -oh. Yeah, Light kind of retreated there. He's like, are you just going to flare with me right here? <laughs> Okay, maybe another thing too that I'm starting to see, he's just going for these F smashes. Another thing too is that uh, the slants at the ledge make it really hard for um, recoveries and ledge trapping, so that, that could be a thing. Uh, and the fact that it's possible that um, Kellen banned Smashville, and on, this is similar to that stage, so uh, Ridley can actually just stand on the stage or at the ledge to use the fireballs to edge guard most characters. That, that, that may be something that like like Light Man was thinking. There's that forward smash from Kellen moving up the stock. Yeah, Kellen was bringing it back where I mean that first stock did not start well for him. I think he was, you know, down 100 to 0 at one point almost. And uh, yeah, it brings it straight back, but Light, light not to be dissuaded by uh, the counterplay that Kellen had. They're both just kind of going blow for blow now. Yeah, definitely even percentages, two stocks apiece. Slight advantage for Kellen. Not anymore after Light gets that dash attack. Ooh, and he gets the, the Vine Whip on him. That's uh, always scary when you go through the stage with moves like that. It's a little bit uh, surprising. Ooh, okay, down air. Finding a down air is just so hard to combo out of Ryan Sword. Where it's great when you get it off stage. You just kind of go, all right, see you later. Get out of here. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it has enough like hit stun. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, really can basically just bounce straight up and, you know, throw out an aerial from it. Yeah, the neutral, the neutral air comes out so fast. Oh my that god. That almost went straight through all of the fireballs. Yeah, I can't believe that. The fire, the plasma breath ending up uh, being victorious in the end there, but Kellen at 160%. Okay, I like this. He, he He's m taking a risk. There it is. By uh, switching to Squirtle, one of the lighter characters in the game, he was taking a risk uh, that he would die early, but he would be able to rack on a lot of damage, which oh could also be free. God, that was like five <laughs> Razor Leafs in a row <laughs> off stage. It's a good move. And I, I think part of the oh, reason why he might have. No way, dude! Razor Leaf to my whip, dude. I hate that confirm. I'm sorry. That was clean. Oh, Kellen's oh, part. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> that was awesome, though. Six stuff coming out from Kellen, able to. Really, really show his adaptation and uh, bring it back in a two the one comeback. Uh, cool stuff. Yeah, Definitely. I mean, you know, I think part of the reason why he might have gone for going to Squirtle there was it puts him on Ivysaur when he loses the stock, right? Very true, yeah. So he's got the switch onto his preferred 